get into the questions now. And the first question, I'm going to start with Mr. McCarthy. Okay, you only have two minutes here. Okay. But can you tell us what what you see as the three, what, what are your top three priorities if elected? What would be your top three priorities? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. The top three would be jobs, jobs, and more jobs. We are facing, we right now we are in a recession. And we are facing one of the worst economies <coughs> that we have in, in the last 80 or 90 years. We need somebody who can be an advocate to work with the small business owners. Because as you all know, in Massachusetts, we don't make anything here anymore like we used to. We used to have these big factories, these manufacturing companies. We don't. Now we have small businesses. Small businesses are the ones, they, they provide the lifeblood for the state of Massachusetts. And I will sit down with the small business owners the entrepreneurs, the CEOs, and ask them, what is it that the state can do to help them develop more jobs? The ones that are here, the ones that have been able to survive this economy, I want to see what we can do to help them sustain that. Then we want to try and help them expand or enhance their, their workers. That way there we can expand the workforce, there'll be more jobs. Then what I'd like to do is see if we can get other businesses to move here. Because as you probably know, uh, there was a big company that was given all kinds of tax breaks up here in Devons, and then they left. They weren't here. I want to work with the small business owners that have been able to survive and help them expand. I think finding jobs is the most important thing. Mr. O'Day has worked very hard to increase the tax rate for the state, and that directly affects the small businesses. It affects the small business owners, and it affects the workers. I will not vote to increase the taxes. Thank you very much. Same questions for you, Mr. O'Day. If elected, what are your top three priorities? Well, no question that our economy has been struggling. And jobs are absolutely <coughs> a necessary part of uh, getting our economy going back to getting back in the right road. Um, I'm a little uh, surprised to hear Mr. McCaffrey talk about, you know, that we're not making anything here in Massachusetts anymore. There has been a a much greater emphasis made on renewing and bringing manufacturing back into uh, into the into the Commonwealth. And you know, he's a professor at the Community College here, Virginia Community College. And I would think that he would know about the manufacturing uh, classes that are being uh, dealt with and, and, and offered by the manufacturing um, group here in Massachusetts. So no question about it, jobs are, are, are top of the line. But we're not going to just have jobs. Right, we have to have good quality jobs. We're not going to have jobs that people are going to make $8 an hour. We're not going to have Walmart like that. You know, we j I just talked two minutes ago about uh, the jobs bill that we just passed this past July. That job does address some of the concerns of small businesses. But it also addresses infrastructure needs that our Commonwealth needs. You know, we need to think about what we're going to do here in our, in our Commonwealth about dealing with our infrastructure, our roads and bridges are falling apart. That would be a heck of a place to start keeping the work. So there are absolutely many avenues for us to make the work here. We have to build for people to work. And um, you know, manufacturing is making them come back here in the economy. Mr. Andy? Yes. Uh, the first thing I would do is I would start to work with the Worcester Polytech Venture Forum. Uh, it's a plan for entrepreneurs to connect with venture capital. They get all the legal assistance they need. And I'd combine that with the Worcester College <coughs> Consortium. I'd mix that in with the high schools, and I'd go after our vocational schools, tie everyone in, make sure that we've got relevant courses that we're teaching people that they're going to find jobs in this area. In the past, uh, the school I went to, UMass Dartmouth, they, in 2005, they did not want to be given a failed law school that was in Attleboro. And they told everyone that. In, two, in 2006, Governor Patrick insisted that that law school be made a state-funded law school. Other law schools in the, in the state and in New England are, were having trouble getting students. So this was millions of dollars put into something that really wasn't wanted. So my other priority for West Boylston and for Worcester is to realize that the residents of West Boylston we are funding the drinking water for Boston. And it, no one wants to talk about this, but the federal EPA is telling Worcester, you've got to fix the upper Blackstone. You've got 
a problem here with the water. You've got aluminum, you've got uh, phosphors, and you've got nitrogen going into that water. West Boylston sewer and a lot of other communities are tied into that. Uh, the pipe that, that goes into the sewer system for all these towns is 80 years old. If this is going to come back to the residents of this town, we've got to wake up. That's, that's a second priority. And the third priority is we've got to reduce taxes. And I'll talk more about it. <laughs>